What's up y'all? Today we're going to look at what Satsun console emulation adds to your signal. What we have here is a test oscillator which I right now have on bypass. Gives us this one kilohertz signal on the scope. So this signal is running through Satsun channel. Satsun channel is running through Satsun bus. Satsun bus is running into Blue Cat Freak Analyst, or Freak Analyst, however you want to say it. And all of these are off. This is not on, this is not on, this one, this one. So I'm going to turn this on, but I'm going to mute the output so we don't have to listen to it. If I mute it here, it doesn't go through. If I mute it over here, it goes through, but we don't have to listen to it. Alright, so now what we have is a sine wave, which is at 1 kilohertz or 1000 hertz, and it's at minus 18 dB. Over here on sets and channel, it's set up so that minus 18 is 0. You can change that so that minus 14 is 0 or minus 20, that's left on 18. Same thing with these. 14, 20, 18. Now the first plug is the channel plug. That's what you put on each one of your instruments. If you don't have the red light here, then the gain works just like a regular volume dial. You turn it all the way up. This peak goes higher. Turn it down. The peak goes lower. For those of you that don't know what you're looking at, this is volume from lowest to highest and this is basically bass to treble frequency wise so your kick drums would be down here and your hi-hats would be up here etc so bass to treble volume low to high so if I go back to zero now what happens is if you turn this on it adds these peaks here at what appears to be 2K and 3K. So now if you turn it up, you're boosting 2K, 3K, and some 4K. If you turn this back off, it's just the volume like it was before. And there's your clipping light, which really doesn't matter because we're not mixing anything, but you turn that off that lets you know when you're over the top but anyway all the way up turn this on you've added duplicates of this sound at higher frequencies the point being that this is just one frequency but if you were listening to music there would be sound all along these frequencies in which case all of them would be duplicated and that's the difference that it makes now you have your fat switch. What that does is it augments what's already there if you have this on. So now if you turn this off, you're back to your volume dial. So next, if we turn these back off, you have sats and bus, which goes on each bus, which is basically where you collect individual channels, such as if you had a drum kit and you had a kick drum, a snare drum, and a hi-hat, then those are all individual channels, but you might send all three of those to a drum bus, which is a collection of all three of those, and then this is what would go there. So you have the same controls on this, but you don't have a dial. So what this does for you is 
it adds to your whole collection evenly. So now, let's say you have this on, and then you turn your volume up. Everything's off, just back to volume. So now if you turn everything on, So normally, this is the default, having it on and on, but having both of these off. 